everyone welcome to flex cards omni studio introduction uh, session in this session i'll give uh, you a brief idea about what flex cards are and why do we use them and also i'm going to create a sample flex card component so that you'll have a good idea and you can get started so let's just go ahead and first understand what flex cards are and why do we use it and then we'll start creating the flex card itself all right so uh what is a flex card a flex card you can say it's a tool within salesforce omni studio which you can use to display key pieces of information in a highly visual or you can say customizable way so think of it as a dynamic widget that can pull data from different data sources it could be uh salesforce records itself or even you can use an external api to display the data or even other systems as well, okay? And you can represent the information, you can display that information in a very uh, user-friendly format. So what makes flex cards stand out that like, you know, they are not just for displaying data, but they are also letting users to take actions directly from the card itself. So if anybody wants to update records or let's say they want to trigger any sort of process that can be directly done from the flex card itself all right so let me give you a real time scenario and uh, so that it will you'll have a better picture that why do we use it so for example uh let's say you are a customer service representative working in a call center so when somebody calls in when a customer calls in you want to have all their relevant information available onto one consolidated screen so let's say you want the account details of that customer, all the open cases or any recent orders that the customer has placed, or even if you want to have a look at the order history. So any of these information you want to be available at a glance, instead of switching between multiple tabs and systems, a flex card can consolidate all of that information into one single place. So with just one click, you can update the account status or even you can escalate a case or if you want, you can even initiate a refund, a refund, right? And just from all, from the single same interface. So this will speed up the process and it will also help in enhancing the customer experience, right? So, and of course, like the same thing can be achieved by building an LWC component, but of course, flex cards, you can set up everything. You can configure everything just by point and click. So let's just go ahead and start creating a flex card. I have logged in into my CMT org and I'll navigate to flex card options. So in the app launcher, just search for Omni Studio flex cards. Then I'll go ahead and click on new. We need to give a name here. So let's just say sample. Flex card. And there shouldn't be any space. And if you see this option, it's it says is child card. So let's say if you have a plan of using this flex card onto some other flex card as a child component, as a child flex card, that is when you will enable this option. I'm not doing that right now. So let's just go ahead and start creating this flex card. I'll just click on next. And these are data source types that are available. So you can see that you can fetch data using a SQL query or even a SOSL query or even if you do want to do any sort of like, you know, remote action, like, you know, if you are receiving data by remote call, Apex remote call, or like, you know, it could be an Apex rest call, or even if you directly want to make an API call that can be done as well. And also let's say if you have uh, like, you know, your set of results, your data is available inside any data raptor uh, Omni Studio script that you would have written, then that can be used as well. Similarly, you can, make use of integration procedures. So if these are returning you a set of data, you can use this and you can display your data, your result onto the flex card. Similarly, we have streaming APIs. Let's say if you have any pub sub model, right? For example, platform events, any such thing, or let's say if you have a custom JSON, right? Or SDK. So these kind of data sources can be directly used as well on the flex card. So for now, let's just go ahead and try with the most simple, which is SQL query. And here I'm just going to write a plain query. From account and let's just click on next. Here, the moment I click on fetch, I'll be able to see all the results that I have 
that I'm getting back from the query. So you can see it is giving me, I have fetched three fields, ID, name, and phone, and I did not put any limit or condition. So it is giving me all the available accounts, right? In the system. And if you want to see the JSON, if you click on JSON, right? You will see all the data that is that it is returning in the JSON format as well. So if you want to use this, you can use this as well. So for now, let's just like, you know, stay with the table and the simple query and click on save. So here you see it's creating the flex card and here, look at this LWC created successfully. So uh, it's, it's pretty clear, right? That every flex card that you create, the system creates an LWC component in the backend for the same thing, right? So here there are a few things. So first of all, when you create a flex card, the first thing that happened that uh, an LWC component got created in the backend, right? The second thing is that if like, you know, after you are done configuring your flex card, you would have to activate in order to use this flex card onto some like, you know, any app page, home page, or even any record page, right? So before, like, you know, if you're not activating it, you'll be not be like, you know, you'll not be able to find it and use it. All right. So that's one thing. Another thing is that although we have written a query, we have set of results, but we still need to use all these elements available in order to display the data. So I know that I have a set of results. I have a table. So I am just going to use the table in order to display it. So data table and then just drag and drop. So you see all this information is getting displayed now. Now there are like, you know, uh, a lot of additional properties and like, you know, components inputs that are available, uh, like, you know, some of them are under build, some of them are under properties. Then for styling, we have like, you know, a separate tab and then some other like, you know, additional information or like, you know, attributes, you can say properties that are available under setup. So let's just go ahead and all of this we'll be discussing in detail in upcoming sessions. But right now I'm just going to give you like an overview of like, you know, what are the sort, like, you know, what sort of things are available over here. So for example, under properties, if I go under attributes, you see these are like you know, additional options. So let's say if I want to uh, include a search bar in the table, so I just need to include this one is searchable. So you see a search bar got included. And for example, let's say if I want to include a delete icon for each row, I can just click on here. And you see the delete op icon got uh, like you know, is available for each and every row here. And similarly, we have some other options here. And for example, this one, page size, right? This is for pagination. So if you have like a lot of data and like, you know, per page, you want to display only a certain, uh, like, you know, amount of data, then that can be decided from here. So if I type in, let's say five, right? So on the first page, it will only show me five records and then it will give me other pages to navigate to. So the pagination got implemented just by this, right? So it's like, you're not writing any code for all of this. All right. Although it is going to include all of like, you know, all the functionalities in the LWC component that got created in the backend. But for you, right, as a developer, all you would have to do is just configure like, you know, the whole flex card as per your requirement. So these are the other options. If you want to do any kind of like, you know, sorting or like, you know, any kind of order, right, ascending, descending and all of that. Or if there is any group by that you want to apply, all of that can be done from here. All right. And if you want to add any conditions onto the data displayed, you can include that from the conditions tab. And if you want to, uh, let's say if you want to style the header, if you want to give like a table header, or if you want to style each and every cell or the like, you know, column header and all of these can be done from this tab. So if you click on style, you'll see that like, you know, it is giving you the option for the data table customization. So you can uh, like, you know, customize border width, border type, and then even you can decide the color and then table head is there rows, cells. So even like, you know, the most atomic, uh, atomic, like, you know, details that you want to customize or you want to style in the data table in onto your flex card, all of that can be done from the style tab. All right. So even the dimensions, height, minimum height, maximum height, like, you know, everything, like, you know, it has a lot of options. You can explore that or we are going to we are anyway going to explore all of it in like you know upcoming sessions so this is the style tab and setup has like you know few additional options as in like you know if you want to for example like styling option and if you if you have any event listener all these sort of things can be uh like you know is are available so it is very flexible to use and of course we are going to cover all of this in the upcoming sessions for now only like you know let's just go ahead 
activate this and try to use it onto one of our like you know home pages or app pages so i am going ahead and activating this it's done so now i know that an lwc component got created by this name right so you will also like you know get an i'm not sure if i am if that's available see the option you're getting is like you know you can also download the lwc so anyway let's just go ahead and uh use this somewhere so I'll navigate to my home page. And I'm going to include this uh, over here. The name is sample flex card. So that's what I need to search here. Sample flex card. Just drag and drop it somewhere, wherever you want to display. All right. So you see that all of it, like, you know, whatever we have included, the account details, the pagination, delete icon, search bar, everything is coming. But there's one thing to notice. If you see all of it, it's getting repeated, right? Because the query is giving me like, you know, set of results and then it is kind of looping over it. So for that, let's just go back to the flex card. And uh, under setup, we have something such as uh, this one, repeat options. So if, it, if this is enabled, right, your data is going to get repeated. So we have to turn it off. So for that, first of all, I have to deactivate the component. Otherwise, I'll not be able to edit it. If you don't want to deactivate, you can create a new version or you can clone and then like, you know, edit over there. So I'll just turn this off and then activate this again. And that's it. Let's just go here and save this. All right, I've already activated my page, but for you, if you're editing your home page or any other page for the first time, then it might ask you to activate that page. For in that case, you will just have to like you know click on activation. I'll just go back to the home page. And here you see we have like you know uh, all the controls and the data that we have like you know queried and provided in the configuration. So here it is, right? Similarly, if you, you can consolidate any sort of data, even if you're like, you know, if you have like, you know, cross object data call, as in like, you know, you want to display account and then you want to display associated contacts, opportunities, any sort of things, all of that can be configured in the flex card itself, right? Because you can uh, directly, uh, like, you, know, you can either write a query, like, you know, any level of query you can write, or you can, you know, if there's a, uh, API call that you want to make that can be done as well. Or if you have a data raptor result or integration procedure, which is returning your set of result, all of those things can be like, you know, consolidated. And as I said, right, cross object data and all of that, like, you know, can be done on the flex card itself. And because from the flex card, you can include these sort of controls. You can also enable inline editing from there. There was an option of like, you know, editing, right? The row level editing. So those sort of things can be configured on the flex card uh and honestly that is what uh like you know makes it very special because you're just doing point and click and you're just configuring and then adding or removing whenever you want so this was uh one of the very simple examples of how you can create a flex card i hope this helped you to get started with it in the upcoming sessions, we will go through all the controls, properties, inputs, whatever is available here. And we'll also see some advanced options where you can configure like, you know, a highly uh, customizable user, like, you know, a friendly flex card. All right. So that's it for now. And I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.